it's very important to learn how to work with lettering inside your software. And so in this introduction, I'm just going to talk a little bit about lettering and what some of the features are before we dive into exploring each type individually. You can see on the screen I have the different types of lettering offered in the Floriani software. We have standard lettering, we have circular lettering, we have vertical lettering, we have lettering on a path, we have monograms, and we have true type text. And each one is accessed from the text tool, either in the upper left hand corner or on the floating toolbar here. Um, if you click on the little icon here, it'll fly out and you'll have text, circle text, vertical text, um, text on a path, monogram, and import true type text artwork. So these are the features of the tools that are available. And I created lettering for each one here, as you see. So whenever you want to create text, you just want to make sure that you go to the correct icon and work from it because they do look a little different and their options in the properties box. The other thing that I want to point out when working with text is um, when you select text, you'll notice in the properties box that it shows up here. It says that you're working with text. You have the text icon there. You also in the sequence view, it'll say text as well. If it doesn't say text, or when you click on lettering and it doesn't come up with the text properties box, that means that something's happened to it. Either you open up a design that was in a different format or saved to a different format and then open back up in the software. Um, the moment you do that, the text features go away and it becomes a standard design. So the way that you know always if you can edit it as if it's lettering is if you select it and whatever appears in the properties box or if you see it in this in the sequence view where it says text. The other thing that I want to point out before we get started is how to edit text. So if I click off and I don't have anything selected, if I go to the select tool and I select the lettering, this is in the regular select mode just like any other design element that we would click on that isn't text, where it'll give you the dimensions and you can resize it. Um, your standard um, edit capabilities are available, but there's a lot more to editing text than what you get with standard um, objects. And so if you select text and that's this is what comes up as the regular select mode which is how it works you can right mouse click and go to edit text and if you go to edit text you'll notice that it brings up other commands other things that you can do with the text and we'll explore those in the videos but i just wanted to point out the fact that when you're selecting text the first time when you select it, it is just going into regular select mode. You either need to right click and go to edit text, or you need to go and click on the text tool and the one that you're working with, and it will go into edit mode for that type of text. Easiest way, obviously, is to select any text, right mouse click, and go to edit text. Or you can just hit T on your keyboard, that's the keyboard shortcut for text. So if, if I have this selected and I hit the letter T on my keyboard, it goes right into the edit mode. So that is another way that you can access it. So that'll kind of get us started in going through lettering and now we'll focus on each one individually and then on editing it. So working with text is very important and uh, hopefully in these videos you will learn a lot about working with lettering and hopefully some things that you didn't already know. 